My name is Brandon Kuntz. I'm the St. Olaf Ice Arena Manager and the Athletic Events Manager for all of our home athletic events. The first step in putting in our ice sheet is to cool down our arena floor. We cool it off and we go from a humid climate inside the ice arena to a dry, arid climate and cool the ice slab down to 15 and a half degrees. This process takes about two weeks. The next morning we'll come in and we get to start laying water, which is the fun part. Our first coat is the bond coat. This bond coat allows our paint to adhere and stay in place when we lay it down next. When we get into our red lines and blue lines and our goal line, every one of them is strung a straight line snapped through with yarn and the yarn stays in the ice. The next step is we measure everything out, um, make some marks on the ice and we start laying out our templates for our lines and our dots and then we start laying paint and when we do our paint for our color, we're going to put the color down and then we come over it with backpack sprayers or hand sprayers of water to seal it in. Our Center Ice logo is our one chance for us to be creative. We use a paper template that we push chalk through to get our lines to follow for the shield and the lion. Every year we've done something a little bit different. Um, this year we went with a, a black and white logo and we did a, a shields across the red line. It's basically arts and crafts in the, uh, in the back of the Zamboni room. After our color paint is down and sealed in, we are less than a quarter of an inch of ice at this point. The flooding process takes a little while. It's a slow process. Once we've flooded to about one inch of ice, we can start bringing the Zamboni out to help level and continue our floods from that point forward. The process to put in our ice sheet is not easy. I'd like to thank all of our coaches, players, and volunteers for their hard work to bring our ice sheet to life for our St. Olaf community. Thank you.